Hey friends, today we're going to be talking about Power Forward by Hannah Kahn, and this book is amazing. And hey, we always need more books that are rooted in sports, because kids love sports books. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's talk about this sticker. It says, review copy, not for resale. And I think what that means is people are getting advanced copies of books getting copies from publishers to review, to talk about, to celebrate, to generate buzz, and they're selling them. Not cool. If you are lucky enough to get a book, an advanced copy of a book, the author is not making any money on that book. Don't sell it. Not cool. Like that is probably against the law, one. Number two, it's not cool at all. And here's the thing. I have seen this. I've seen people who get books in the mail, uh, are lucky enough to get advanced copies, and then but they've already bought a copy and then they sell the copy that they bought. Also not cool, like if you are getting books to review and you are not a bookstore buying books to sell, like if you're getting books to review, you should not sell books. Like that is not cool, don't do that. It's jerk facey and not cool and it bothers me and people who write books and pour their heart and soul into writing books should get the correct royalties. Like honor their work, don't be a jerk face. Okay. Power Forward is about a boy named Zaid Salam. He's a fourth grader who loves basketball. His parents want him to play violin, especially his mother. The story starts off with him at his violin concert. He ends up falling, or his music concert, he ends up falling off of the stage. It's pretty funny. He's actually pretty decent at the violin, but he doesn't want to do it. He wants to play basketball. He is currently on the D team, and he wants to make the gold team, which is like where all of the best players are on. He tried out in the summer, kind of choked, didn't make it. Now he is completely focused in on becoming part of this gold team. And he wants to practice, wants to throw everything into that and none of his time into volleyball. Unfortunately, that's not possible. He's got to spend time practicing the violin. His mom even brings him to school early to practice violin, like a, like a before school music lesson class. And one day he's going to that and he sees a bunch of kids from the gold team playing basketball in the gym. And does he make the right choice and just keep going to music practice? Of course not, because it's a book and it's a great story. No, he actually skips music practice to play basketball with these kids, and he has a blast. Problem is, he keeps doing that. And if you've read enough books, you probably know that this doesn't end well for this boy. Uh, I love this book. I think that kids are going to love it. It's really hard to write a book, I think, about sports for this age because you're not playing for like a state title. You're not trying to get a college scholarship. You're not playing in the NBA finals. You're just like a kid playing, like trying to make like a travel basketball team. And the actual basketball part, really, probably that kind of stuff, like no one really wants to read about that. Like we might think we want to read about that, but like a whole book filled with basketball games and plays from basketball games would probably wouldn't be very... Very good, and that's probably why there's none of those books out there. This is a book that kids are going to love. They're going to really find this story fascinating. They're going to be just intrigued by what's going to happen and whether or not this boy is going to be able to uh, make this basketball team or even play basketball and what's going to happen when things don't go so well with him and his skipping of music practice. I would highly recommend this book for all elementary classrooms, uh, especially the upper L, third through fifth graders are going to absolutely love this. You will not be able to keep this book on the shelves. That is a fact. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome, fantastic day and happy, happy reading.